Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in session with Sumit, we are finally going to deploy the machine learning model. So in the last video, we have created the uh, basically the model that predicts whether a person survived in the Titanic incident or not. And here I have created the web application uh, which I have deployed using Flask which can return you the predictions. So let me show you first of all how this application is working. So here I can en enter the name of the passenger. This is SS. Uh, I need to choose the class in which the passenger was traveling. So first class, gender was female, age was about 40 years. There was no, no spouse. So let's say there was a spouse. There was no siblings. There was no parent. There was no children. The fare was let's say $50. And she was traveling from Southampton, uh, Southampton basically this port. So she embarked from this so she boarded the ship from this port and then once you click on predict it will return you the predictions over here so she survived and this particular python basic this particular model or this deploy deployed model uh, we will try to look into this video how this can this can be done so to do this first of all as you already know which i have already taught you in the last previous some videos that first of all you require to create a web page and then you require to create a, a, a basically a python script and this python script should has the have the flask application so that your web page and the flask application that can connect to each other so there are some changes that you just need to do instead of your python logic you need to also include your uh, the predict the model that you have the, that you have pickled so if you look into uh, basically if you look into this file so i have two files this index.html is the is the web page so i will just walk you through the code i will not write it it, it consumes a lot of time so the web page again um, this is some style tag that i have written uh, if you want if you don't know about it you can watch my previous video so in the body part uh, first of all i have added two images so if you look at the web page, I have two images. One is this logo of the Titanic and then you have some Titanic uh, watermark. So if you look at over here, I have used this image tag where I have called the image from a static folder and the name is logo.png. Then I have the, the, the default name of this particular image and then height and weight. So I have just changed the shape or basically the the figure size and the same thing I have done with the other image and I have used this center tag to make all both the images in the center then this is my heading number one so it is having RMS Titanic survival prediction and this result is nothing but the placeholder so this is a placeholder which will be used by the Python web application to show you the result now after this I have written this form basically the form tag within this form tag I am taking the the URL of the predict predict function and then the method is post so method post basically means whenever I am posting the details from this particular form this will be posted to this particular location now my first input is name so if you look into the web page you have the name you have passenger class and all the all the inputs you have so if you go over here we have just created the the various fields so we have a name field, then we have a label, then we, so we have a passenger class field, which has three values, first, second, and third. Now remember one important thing that I have used this one, two, and three for first, second, and third. So whenever the passenger, whenever the passenger will select first, my Python script will receive one because the value is one. Similarly, whenever my the the user will select mail on my web page my python script will re re will receive one and that's why the value is one okay so like this i have created all the uh, all the basically all the inputs similarly age similarly whether the spouse was on the board or not then this is an input you need to num uh, you need to enter the number of siblings on board number of parents on board number of children then what was the fare and then then in on which port the person embarked so whether it is 0, 1 or 2 and these are the names of basically this is S, C and Q and then finally you have the submit button. 
So once you press the submit button, this, this code will submit the detail to the Python script. And if you look at this Python script, I have named this Python script with app.py. So the first line is same if that, that we have seen in the last video, in the last some previous videos. You have Flask, you are importing all the packages from Flask. We have also imported pickle package because now we are required to make use of the pickle file that we have created in the previous video. So this line is as same as in the last video that we have created. Uh, here we are trying to read the, uh, the pickle file that we have created. So the file name is random for is titanic model dot pickle. RB basically stands for read mode. I am opening this file in the read mode and then I am loading this file to this particular variable model. Now this model will hold my model, the, the random forest model. Now these line of code are same. So whenever I am in my home page, this particular, uh, this particular HTML page will be visible to me. And whenever I am uh, making predictions, so whenever this page is sending me the information, the web page is sending me the information, it, it will be received over here in this particular function. And now here I am reading all the, uh, all the inputs from the web page. So I am reading the passenger class. I am saving it as an integer format to a variable P class. Similarly, um, what is the sex? Um, what is the age and all, all other inputs. Here I am creating the variable which is sibling spouse which is nothing but sibling plus spouse. Parent children is nothing but parents plus children. And here I have read all the inputs that are required. Now after this I am making, I am using this model which is model that I have loaded over here to make the prediction. So model.predict and then I am here mentioning the, uh, the variables in the order in the order in the in the same order in which I have trained the model. So remember in the last video, uh, the first input was passenger class followed by gender, followed by age, followed by sibling spouse, followed by parent children and fair and embarked. So please guys mention like remember this that the order is very much important. Now since the output of this particular prediction will be a numpy array, we are extracting only the class whether the class is zero or one. And then uh, I am creating a variable out. So if if the if the if this particular variable consists of the value one, then out will be survived. Else the out will be didn't survived. And then I am returning this web page where result that I have created over here the 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 placeholder. This result will consist of this particular value out. So if your, if your prediction is one, the uh, over here you will have survived. If prediction is zero, over here you will be having didn't survived and if other than that you will get an error. And if the method is not post, then you will get the same particular web page again. So once you are created this web page, uh, how you can deploy it? Again you go to anaconda prompt, you change the location and then you run the app app.py. So you change the location. Oh, sorry. Then YouTube, then Titanic, and then you run Python app.py. Now, once you run this, once it has been run, it will return you a IP address or basically a server location. And once you go back to this web page, this will be the location basically it will return you a location. This is a location. This is the basically the, the link. You paste this link over here and then you will be able to run this particular web uh, this model. So this is how you basically deploy a machine learning model. Now this is very simple. If you have followed all my previous videos, uh, you will find this very simple because we are not going, we are not doing anything extra. The only thing that we are doing extra was trying to add this particular model in this particular logic. That's it we have done. This, this is like all about for this video. In the next video, we will try to deploy this model into a particular server.